And for more on the conflict in Gaza, I'm joined by James Carafano. He's a leading expert in national security and foreign policy challenges. Thank you so much for joining us. Ban Ki-moon and Secretary John Kerry are in Cairo. How effective do you think they can be in sort of brokering something uh, that involves Egypt? Do you think they're in a position to get anything done? No. Um, I do think the Cairo initiative was great. It was actually great to see the Egyptian government step up and do this. There is a bit of a tussle between uh, the Qataris and the Egyptians over who's really calling the shots here, and that's unfortunate. But I, I think it's going to be a regional-led uh, solution and pressure for solution. And I, uh, I, I'm i sure that the Secretary General and the Secretary of State are very well-meaning, but you know what? They're not the big players in this one. What, in your mind, would look like a successful solution here? Well, that's it's kind of the wrong question. Obviously, the the Egyptian proposal is completely reasonable and a, and a perfectly fine suggestion. But let's look at this realistically. From Hamas's perspective, if, if you're just being reasonable about doing something that makes sense, they would have never gone to war to begin with. Hamas is in a very weakened position. Uh, they're out of money. Uh, they're out of friends. Um, the Arab street is not rising up for them. Uh, there isn't a lot of international pressure on Israel. They've been dealt a really bad losing hand here, uh, and yet they're continuing a fight. So it's not necessarily about being, we would say, what's a reasonable deal? A reasonable deal is on the table. That's, that, that's not what's important for Hamas right now. So Israel's government officials were coming out and saying that basically uh, they realize it's, a, it's been a slow mission addressing some of the civilian casualties, uh, but they feel like they're moving forward in their military operations. So once they feel comfortable and feel like they've accomplished what this mission was meant to be, do they just wrap up, wipe their hands and... and I, mean, I think go when away. the Israelis are done with their military objectives, they will absolutely pull out as quickly as possible and go home. Um, you know, again, the Israelis came out and said they'd accept the Egyptian proposal because, in a sense, they've already won. And every day that Hamas continues to fight is another day the Israelis are going to take away more military capability from Hamas. They're going to find more tunnels. They're going to cut more off. They're going to degrade Hamas even more. You know, a recent poll came out said a majority of uh, Palestinians are actually not in favor of Hamas anymore. So every day Hamas fights, it loses a little more ground. And, and, uh, and I think that just plays to Israel's advantage. All right, James Carafano, we appreciate your time. We wish we had more time. Thank you so much for your perspective. Thanks for having me.